Welcome back, everybody. Ballooning budget deficits, something we've been talking an awful lot about here lately. They've been gripping the largest public university system in the country. New York State is expecting its shortfall to hit $10 million this year. And with us to talk about the degree of college deficits and more is Nancy Zimfer. She is the co chancellor of the state of State University of New York system. And Nancy, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time talking about budget deficits, how states are looking to chop costs and uh, trying to raise revenues. What's that mean at the college level, specifically when you're looking at New York State? Well, it uh, comes right to us. We're a big part of uh, the state's economy and the state's future, for that matter. So uh, just to give you a, a, a taste for this, over the last three years, our state operating support has been cut by about 30%. So we're a huge enterprise. We have 64 campuses, 88,000 employees. We educate 465,000 students a year, but we're doing it one third less, and and uh, our enrollments are growing. So we're qu we're really squeezed on both ends, and uh, this is tough for this state and others. How much of your funding comes from the state versus, I guess, what you raise in tuition in other places? Well, we have a 10 billion dollar budget to run 64 campuses because we are the largest single. Uh, public system in the country, about $3 billion uh, comes from uh, state support, and so we're down $1.1 billion from that $3 billion support. Okay, and I see that um, the governor at the same time is expecting that you'll find ways to come up with right. new jobs while you're right. dealing with these cuts? Well, uh, it's two sides of the same coin. Uh, I think everybody recognizes across the country, and particularly higher education, public higher education, that we can be the economic engine for recovery. So we're producing the graduates who will become the prospective employees. We also have to produce jobs through our incubators and tech transfer, uh, and also in most of our communities across the state of New York, we're the largest employer. So it's a double-edged sword. We have to keep moving because the economy is our future. At the same time, though, states are dealing with these ridiculous situations where spending's been right. out of control for over a decade. Right. Um, so I guess the question becomes, what would you like to see happen? Do you expect to be dealing with these cuts, or do you expect that higher education, because of the role that it plays, should um, get a pass on some of these cuts? I think it's a yes and strategy. I think all of my colleagues in higher education expect that we are going to be dealing with these cuts. But what we did last year in the legislature and what we will revisit this year is a kind of regulatory relief so that we can raise revenues from alternative sources. Uh, yes, that does speak to what the role of students and tuition is mm -hmm. to raising revenues, but we've also requested more relief in forming public-private partnerships with business and industry mm -hmm. so that we can generate profit. Uh, we heard uh, Governor Cuomo talk about this in his State of the State address. He really believes these public-private partnerships are important. We also heard him talk about uh, streamlining government, making it more efficient. We get caught in that. We have cumbersome procurement procedures that could be reduced, and we could generate revenue that way. So what we're really advocating is a way to look at higher education as, as less controlled by uh, regulations that made sense a decade ago, but in a more freewheeling economy where we have to recover to give us the tools we need to generate revenue. So from you are looking sources. for change and, and different ways that you can are. deal with these realities. Yeah, and we're trying to lead that change and work with the legislature, work with the governor to partner us through the crisis. When you sat down, oh, go ahead. In California, a lot of the, the University of California right. schools officials are howling uh, because of the cuts that Governor Brown is now proposing. Would you rather be a chancellor in California or <laughs> New York? I don't think I have that option, <laughs> uh, but I will tell you that what I'm most pleased about, given the consequences of an, a 10 or 11 billion dollar deficit in New York, is that the governor has really uh, made it quite clear that we are a key to recovery. Uh, we had a, a singular spot in his State of the State address, not only higher education in general, he actually commented about the State University of New York's role in regional economic recovery. So if I were a president in California or Texas or North Carolina, I'd be listening for the governor to say, and you know what, as bad as this is, you're a part of the recovery. Mm. Chancellor, when you sat down, I asked you about tuition because I had some statistics that show that on average, tuition has gone up about 6% over the last 30 years, but you're still only talking about tuition for a four-year institution, I guess, in the New York system of 
4,970. I asked if that was per semester, and you said no, that's per year. That's per year. Which is that's stunning when year. you look around the nation. Well, and uh, it is stunning. It is the lowest in, in the Northeast, New England, the Mid-Atlantic. It's in the lowest quartile of public tuition across the country. And we have held sacred access to the State University of New York all these years since Rockefeller first thought up uh, SUNY. Uh, but I think the compromise is that we also offer tuition assistance in New York, uh, $5,000 actually a year. So we are below the tuition assistance ceiling. Uh, if uh, we were to increase tuition, you're right, it's dollars. It's not whatever a percentage might be. Even 10% is $500 a year or $250 a semester. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important to us when we talk about tuition that we talk about dollars and we talk about the need to keep that tuition assistance growing as well. All right. well Chancellor, we thank you for your time today. We'd love to hear about some of these new innovations. It sounds well, very you. interesting. Appreciate it.